This is Dave with XMD. I'm here with Kevin from the Interrupters at Warp Tour, Auburn, White River. How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? So, <clears throat> what's it like being on this tour? Um, it's kind of like a mixture of summer camp and every festival you've ever played or been to and high school. Because you play a show every day, it's outside, but you, you're with the same people every day. And, you know, some people get real friendly, and you know, you walk past them in the hallways. It's cool. I like it. It's a nice community vibe. So, what's it like to be on a tour that has so many stages and so many bands? It's cool because it kind of, I mean, in a way, splits itself into a, a few different tours. Like sometimes we'll be playing, you know, on our stage, and it's almost like we're playing a club show because there's like a cool, like group, of 100, 200 kids there watching us, and then. You know, across the grounds, there's the Monster Energy stages, which is like a metal festival. Like, it's cool. It's a, uh, I think a lot of different genres are represented here. So do you feel a tour like this has widened your guys' fan base? I hope so. I mean, I know it put us in front of a lot of people that normally wouldn't have seen us. They just happened to walk by while we were playing, and uh, or they got told about us because we were on this tour. So I definitely think it has. And I, I mean, I definitely think it's exposed us to more people, whether or not it's widened our fan base. Like last night, we had uh, Marilyn Manson that decided to throw blue powder all over a photographer. What's your stance on photographer and press when you're out on tour? Well, what was the photographer doing that made him throw blue powder on him? Uh, that's just Marilyn. He, he's, he, yeah. him, and, him and Corey of Slipknot, they don't really care for, for the press. Oh, really? And so a lot of bands are starting to take that stance when they see photographers. What would be your stance about the cell phones at well, shows? Cell phones at shows? I mean, I think to each his own, you know, if you want to come to a show and videotape the band the whole time and put it up on YouTube, and that's how you enjoy live music, that's fine. Uh, me, personally, I like to actually, you know, be in the moment, be a part of the show, but it's good, you know, if you're out there making memories, sometimes your favorite song comes on, you want to videotape it so you can rewatch it over and over. There's nothing wrong with that. As far as photographers and press go, I think it's all part of the... Uh, world that we live in, and I don't think there's, there's, you know, I don't personally have anything against them. There is a culture nowadays of like, you know, the higher echelon of celebrities having photographers follow them around in their personal lives. I think that's a little inappropriate. Um, you know, everyone just kind of, I'm sure, wants to live as normal a life as possible. Luckily, we don't have that problem because we're in a punk band, so, you know, once I leave here, I'm just, you know, I mean, once I walk out of this area and go over there, I'm just the same thing. So, and now that you're talking about the genres and all that that are on this tour, uh -huh. what is your guys' band's plans after Warp's done? Do you got another tour? Yeah, we what? got a couple tours. Where, where, as soon as this finishes in two days, we're going to Europe for three and a half weeks and doing some shows over there. And then we get back from there, we're going to do a headline tour in the States in the fall. So any plans on getting in to do another album? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're always writing and coming up with ideas. I, I would say by the middle of next year, we'll probably get back in the studio and maybe start messing around with some stuff. With the turmoil and we're coming up to the presidential election, yeah. who are you going for? Neither. I think it's all rigged. The two-party system, lesser of two evils. Such bullshit. Pardon my French. Uh, Why pardon your French? There's always other options out there. Uh, but the media chooses to only show this side and this side, and people eat it up. Um, yeah, I'm not really going for either of those guys, but uh, I will say I think it's important for the young people to get educated on the issues, and I think people are starting to uh, get a lot more curious as to what's going on behind the scenes, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Only good can come with people being more informed. And final question, music industry, we always have piracy now with the internet. Uh -huh. Where do you see us being in the next five years? Um, the good thing about music and any other form of art, I think, is in, um, it's a tangible 
physical expression that touches people emotionally. So uh, whether or not the value of that monetarily goes up and down, it's always going to have a value to people. And um, as time goes on and the value of the dollar changes and, and uh, different ways of obtaining music and art are, you know, created, I think that uh, it'll adjust accordingly. Well, once again, Kevin, I know you're busy with Warp Tour. You want to get out and see more with this many bands on tour. Yeah, sure. Thanks for your time, Thank and we you. appreciate it, Thanks man. Thanks for having me.